Assalamualaikum Ok, let's continue our ODL lecture for chapter 5 Ok, so compressible flow In our previous uh, lecture uh, Basically, uh, if you recall uh, In our last session We have uh, learned about the variation of uh, area Ok, variation of area in the nozzle so that uh, in this variation of area we found an interesting uh, uh, how to say that interesting um, relation where uh, if you still remember if we keep uh, uh, decrease uh, uh, if we keep decrease the pressure okay, if we keep decrease the pressure the area will be uh, reach the minimum at uh, Mach number equal to 1 which is we call it as a Mach number critical or at this uh, minimum area it is uh, where we call the throat area so uh, minimum area so it is uh, defined as a throat uh, area okay so at this condition uh, mark number will be unity okay and then uh, what happen after this uh, throat area is if we keep in, uh, decrease the pressure okay we if we keep decrease the pressure the area uh, increase okay the area uh, increase uh, and then um, uh, the velocity Okay, the velocity uh, for the flowing fluid is keep increasing. Okay, so uh, it is interesting that right? even though the area is increased, the velocity now is still increased. Okay, so uh, for this lecture, uh, it is important to uh, study about the variation of uh, fluid velocity with uh, flow area. Okay, so. Uh, the relation for the variation of static to stagnation property ratios uh, with the Mach number for pressure, temperature uh, and density are provided in previous uh, lecture. Okay, so what is uh, static to stagnation property? For example, uh, P over P0 uh, which is static to stagnation uh, temperature static to temperature to stagnation and then Row static to row uh, uh, stagnation. Okay, and then uh, as I mentioned in previous lecture, it is important to first identify the stagnation properties. Okay, so uh, this is because um, all the equation that will be used in ideal gas for the compressible flow, it is much related to the stagnation properties as you as you can see here. So, um, just recall that the stagnation properties, first we need to define in terms of the temperature, that stagnation temperature which is T0 equal to static temperature uh, divided by dynamic temperature which is 2C uh, Cp. If, let's say, the velocity is very, very uh, low, okay, very low velocity or velocity is uh, negligible, so um, if 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 velocity is negligible, so your stagnant stagnation temperature is equal to uh, static temperature. Okay, so from this uh, T zero over T, uh, sorry T zero uh, stagnation temperature equal to static temperature you can define the pressure, the uh, stagnation pressure and you can define the uh, stagnation density ok so now uh, the, uh, as you can see here the conservation of energy we consider steady flow, no work, no heat uh, interaction in our analysis, in our nozzle and then delta potential energy, the potential energy difference is also negligible, zero ok and then this is the energy equation energy balance for the enthalpy at state 1 and enthalpy at state 2 or it is constant and then differentiate uh, uh, 
differentiate this equation we obtain the h plus v dv and then also we can uh, rearrange the equation with the entropy ds ds entropy equal to zero because we consider as as entropic okay and then substitute uh, with dp over rho plus v dv equal to zero okay so now uh, this is uh, about the conservation of energy uh, but uh, this is really important uh, to to identify the um, variation of fluid velocity uh, with uh, flow area okay in this equation basically it is a variation of area okay variation of area uh, with the pressure okay now it is uh, we talk about variation of area and pressure okay and then as you can see uh, the a uh, variation of area change of area and then change of pressure it is in bracket 1 minus ma square ma uh, square is a uh, mark number okay so uh, just recall mark number equal to okay let's So uh, let's recall uh, mark number. Okay. So for the mark number uh, for this variation, so for this relation, uh, mark number is really important so that we can easily understood uh, how to uh, get a variation or how to get a relation between change of area and pressure. Okay. So mark number we have to uh, mark number which is not to mark number we can classify in terms of mark number less than one which is uh, subsonic okay and then mark number equal to one it is uh, sonic this is happen at the throat and then mark number greater than one it is super uh, supersonic okay okay so this is mark mark number uh, based on this relation uh, for the subsonic, now uh, I'm talking about subsonic flow, which is mark number equal to one. So mark number, no, sorry, mark number less than one. So if mark number is less than one, you can find that the variation of this uh, area. Okay, now area, we want to talk about the variation of area and pressure. Okay, now uh, area and uh, pressure. Okay, based on this equation okay so now for the subsonic uh, for this is let's like say this is subsonic then this is supersonic this is mark number less than one this is mark number greater than one okay so for the subsonic uh, less than one you will find that uh, this term is positive okay this term will be will always be positive okay so mean that if the area okay if area is increased okay so you you will get that uh, pressure is also uh, positive so mean that for the subsonic flow area is increased the pressure also increase okay and then if the area is decreased for the nozzle okay for if the area is decreased okay for the nozzle the pressure also decrease okay because it is same uh, same uh, notation positive positive and then negative and negative okay i mean that it negative what, what i mean negative it is uh, uh, decrease of area okay negative mean that it is decrease of area so this is for the subsonic and then for the supersonic mark number is much uh, sorry mark number is greater than greater than one okay so mean that uh, in this uh, equation uh, on the right hand side equation this term will be negative okay so for the supersonic this term 
okay this term will be negative so that if area is increased okay so if area is increased uh, the pressure will be decrease okay so pressure will be decreased because it is negative here and then if uh, area is decreased pressure will be increased okay so this is how to understand this relation based on subsonic and supersonic velocity okay so the pressure decrease in converging okay so i mean that uh, if uh, a increase a increase mean that it is uh, how to say that it is increase increase uh, diverging eh? diverging section okay a decrease mean that it is in nozzle okay so this is how to relate for subsonic mana be equal to 1 if uh, in the diverging section diverging duct uh, area increase pressure also uh, increase for subsonic uh, flow and then for the supersonic area is increased but the pressure is uh, decreased okay so this is for uh, uh, this is for super supersonic and then uh, f uh, another relation okay let's move to this uh, equation okay so another equation it is a relation between area change of area and then velocity okay there are positive and uh, positive and negative uh, uh, equation okay in the right hand side okay so for subsonic flow in terms of velocity uh, if mat number subsonic mat number is less than one so mean that uh, in terms of velocity okay in terms of velocity uh, for subsonic and then supersonic okay so in terms of velocity for subsonic if area is positive which is mean that area is increased the velocity will be decrease okay so for the subsonic if area increase which is in diverging section velocity will be decrease okay in the conver uh, in converging at the, uh, at the nozzle if area is decrease the velocity is increase okay so for the supersonic supersonic mean that uh, it, it is uh, negative 1 minus uh, uh, 1 minus with uh, mark number uh, greater than 1 so this will be negative negative will be positive if area is increased the velocity also increase okay so that, that was for supersonic supersonic condition if area is negative ataupun area is decrease uh, velocity also decrease okay so there is the relation uh, so as you can see this uh, slide uh, the proper shape of a nozzle depends on the highest velocity desired relative to the sonic velocity okay so to accelerate a fluid we must use a converging nozzle at supersonic velocity okay so and a diverging nozzle at supersonic velocity if we want to accelerate the velocity okay for sub subsonic we must use a converging nozzle but for supersonic we must use a, a diverging nozzle okay for the supersonic velocity uh, to accelerate a fluid to supersonic velocity we must use uh, converging and diverging nozzle converging and diverging mean that this first converge and then diverge okay converge and diverge so this is converging uh, diverging uh, nozzle okay so as you can see this um, uh, this uh, figure let's say we want to uh, extend okay extend uh, another nozzle which is uh, 
uh, converging nozzle to attain the uh, Mach number uh, to keep increase the uh, velocity. Okay, so we cannot attain supersonic velocity by just extending the converging section of a converging uh, nozzle. Okay, converging to converging. Doing do doing so will only move the sonic cross section further downstream. Okay, and decrease the mass mass flow rate. Okay, so there is for uh, this uh, figure. Okay, so uh, in this next slide, uh, this is a, a summary. Okay, summary of variation of flow properties in subsonic. A is for subsonic, B is for supersonic. Okay, so let's say for the uh, for the subsonic, this nozzle and then diffuser, uh, ataupun diverging, uh, 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 diverging uh, nozzle, uh, we can also call as a subsonic uh, uh, we can also call as a di diffuser okay so you, uh, this is basically based on the uh, two relation that has been learned in previous uh, slide okay so um, uh, So this is a property relation for isentropic uh, flow for of ideal gases. Okay, so T zero oh, in terms of Mach number. So we we, we already have uh, uh, this relation before in previous uh, lecture, which is just depending on the uh, just depending on the term. For example, to get to obtain the pressure, stagnation pressure or static pressure, we just uh, uh, based on P0 over P equal to T0 over T K over K over K minus 1. Okay, now uh, we put uh, relation based on the mark, mark number. Okay, so uh, 1 plus uh, uh, 1 plus k minus 1 over 2 for uh, mark number square okay so and then if you have this asterisk star t star p star and rho star so it is represent uh, condition at mark number equal to 1 which is at the throat throat area okay so when mark, num uh, mark number t which is mark number throat equal to 1 the properties at the nozzle throat become the critical properties okay if you found any uh, sign of T star, P star, Rho star, it is, it is uh, known as critical properties at the minimum area known as throat area. Okay, so uh, basically this to this equation similar, similar just uh, uh, it is based on similar equation but now for critical ratio or critical mark number just replace mark number equal to equal to 1. Okay. So this is some critical pressure, critical temperature, and critical density ratios for isentropic flow of some ideal gases, superheated steam, a hot product, or combustion. And this is uh, what we uh, always use eh, for the air, 0 0.5 to 83 uh, for the critical area, which is uh, P star over, uh, sorry, critical pressure ratio, critical temperature ratio with stagnation, critical density. Okay, so uh, this is some example just to use uh, the, uh, the equation for critical uh, condition okay, for at the throat. So you may you may try to answer this in order to get familiar with those equation. Okay, and then I think that's all for the variation of fluid properties or relation of uh, fluid velocity with flow area. Okay. In next video, we will learn uh, about the variation. Uh, no, uh, about the isentropic flow through nozzle. Okay. So in this, uh, in previous, uh, uh, in next lecture, it is important to identify back pressure. Okay. See you next video.